If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. I want to welcome Brian Swoboda to the program here. Brian, how goes it, man? How are you doing today, all right? Very well. Thanks for having me. You got that gravelly voice that, uh, you know, that Don Stanhouse, Earl Weaver, you know, six-pack voice there. It's a too much smoking and drinking voice. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. We got a lot of that going on around here. So uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, and obviously, Swoboda begs the first question that I didn't ask. And Bob Haney knew you a little bit, and you had kind of a funny story. Yeah, about, I, uh, hope, I hope you don't hold it against me, but uh, Bob... Uh, I, and I talked to Bob, and I tried to get him together with my dad, and it didn't work out. But uh, he's uh, he's a local guy, so don't hold the Mets' history against him because uh, he's well, he's born and raised in the area. Yeah, if he was on the he's West Side, uh, well, I, you know. But I look, I was barely alive in '69. I'm sure my dad hated your dad's guts. I mean, you know, I mean, I think everybody in the city. I'm did. sure a lot of people did. Except what does your dad make of relatives. all that? What is, what is your dad? What is his stock answer, Ron Swoboda, for you know beating the Orioles in the World Series in '69? Definitely, it's the fact that. If he would have been an Oriole instead of a Met, he never would have made it to the big league. So he was in the right place at the right time, and it worked out for him. Because the Mets stunk in the mid-60s. Mets needed young talent, and the Orioles were stocked with talent. So if he would have been an Oriole, he probably never would have seen the big league. So, so you've lived in Baltimore all your life, born here, all that no, stuff? No, none of that. Uh, all over the place. New York born because of the Mets. Uh, what year were you born? 67. Uh, okay, so you were a, a puppy when your Definitely dad won a championship. no memories of the World Series whatsoever except for a film. Okay. Which, which you had back then, film, not sure. video. Um, but New Orleans mostly, New York. I uh, moved to Baltimore in 94, chasing down my wife, my beautiful wife, I should say, since she might be listening. Now, that's strange that you wound up in Baltimore accidentally then. Not accidentally. My grandparents are born and raised Baltimoreans, and I always came back to live with them, and I love the area, and my father is still a property owner in Harford County, and uh, so I always loved it. I always knew I'd come back to the area. Been an Orioles fan my whole life. All right, all right. So, well, then that, that, how did that happen? And he never held that against me, because my whole family's Baltimore, and, and, you know, Mets are a team that I like and I follow, but the, the Orioles are my team. Does your dad still do some old-timer stuff with the Mets? Uh, definitely. They don't do as much old-timer stuff. They just did the big closing of Shea, and I was actually there for that, and that was one of the greatest experiences of my life. I won't ever forget. Well, I mean, yeah, that's the way it was for us here. It was red carpet treatment. I felt like, what? this is celebrity living. I loved it. It was great. Nice, it was nice. Great. Well, Brian is here, and uh, give us your background again on uh, and why you're in our competition and why I heard from you. Uh, entered the competition because I rarely in my life have ever taken a chance to do anything, and you had the competition two and a half years ago opened up, and one of the things you said was don't even think Think about it if you're not a local. I wasn't a local. It scared me away. Uh, well, that's a people. I didn't, I didn't give that as not a precursor. For not I just for said it's going to help you. You said it's, not for it, this one. When you did it two and a half years ago and you were looking, you said don't even think about it if you're not a local. Well, I'm not putting I'm a Steelers not fan or a Reds no, fan no, 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 or that. another Understood. Yankees fan on my radio station Understood. ever again. Yeah, I would never be accused of being a Yankees fan. But uh, so... I tried to do it this time just to take a chance, do something. I do this show to my family all the time, and, uh, you know, I talk sports. And so what are your sports? What are you, you're obviously a baseball guy. Baseball, football. Uh, follow, used to follow the Terps closer when my grandma was alive because it gave us something to pay attention, to talk to each other about. But uh, still follow Vic because my boss is a big Terps fan. And uh, so... Really, baseball, football, a little bit of Terps. That's All right. Well, Brian Swoboda is here. You live where locally? I live in Stewartstown now with my wife, but we lived in Baltimore before we moved there. All right. Well, you're West avoiding West. the taxes. Just get over to state line Look, and you get it Pennsylvania done. taxes aren't any... Uh, aren't any treat either. That's a fallacy. Trust me. It's Taxylvania is what we like to call it. It's no good up there either. All right, man. Well, uh, you're going to get your five minutes to get on the clock here. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.